our church office, I'm kind of known as everyone's best friend. Uh, the go-to guy for everything you need. And if you're going to be the office best friend, there's three things that you have to keep in mind. Three things that I've learned along the way. The first one is that you have to be dependable. You have to be there when they need you, completely ready, completely focused. All right, you got me down there, right, Mike? Yes, yes. Hang in there, buddy. You are doing great. All right. Hello. Nope, nope, I'm not busy. No, you are my number one. Michael. Ah, yes, well, tell me more. Just a little bit more, Michael. <sighs> Second, you have to have a good sense of humor. I believe it was God who said, laughter is the best medicine. And around here, I'm practically a doctor. Dr. Friend, wait, Dr. Friend Lee. Whoa, Phyllis, he's up on the broccoli, would ya? <laughs> she is really letting him fly. Michael, don't you remember Phyllis is on that medication that makes her gassy? She's really sensitive about it right now. Uh, no, and that's disgusting. Finally, and most importantly, you must be trustworthy. If somebody shares something with you, you've got to keep it in the vault. And I tell you what, I keep it locked up, and this vault has no key and no combination. These lips are sealed. It's come to my attention that there have been rumors circulating around the office, and let me just say, people, if someone shares something with you in confidence, it is not your business to share it with anyone else. What if it's really good news? Uh, again, not your job to share someone else's really good news. But what if it's important to the safety of other people? Like, never let Michael spot you when you're on the top of a ladder. Hey, Daryl, listen, I told you that was a very important phone call and the rest of you will be very excited to know that we're getting a great discount on our cable plan. No. No. Listen, you know the kind of rumors I'm talking about? Like the one that someone forgot a special date and possibly their marriage is in crisis now? You mean how Jim forgot his and Pam's anniversary? I heard about that when you asked me to pray for them. What? Well, what? Hold on, hold on, Pam. It was a prayer request, so it's okay. False. Obviously, the rumor Michael is referring to is how Angela is having money problems because of the thousands she spends on chemotherapy for her cat. Michael, I told you about Sprinkles' battle with cancer and confidence, and I don't have money issues. Sprinkles has very good health insurance. Again, a prayer request. <sighs> Listen, people, it's not like I went around needlessly blabbing about Phyllis's gastrointestinal issues. Phyllis? F Phyllis! Phyllis! I didn't blab. I didn't blab. No. You just published it in your prayer request memo. The one that you published to the all staff email list and post in the break room and in the bathrooms. Right, so what you're saying is gossiping is just being a good Christian friend. Yes, thank you, Jim. Wait, no, no, that, that's not what I mean. What can I say? Sometimes best friends are misunderstood. But at least I have this to remind me who I am. Homemade best friend mug. I used a Sharpie.